Hi, it's Tanya from My Forking Life, and today we're in the kitchen and we're making your favorite candied sweet potatoes. Now, candied sweet potatoes is one of my favorite side dishes. Actually, it is my favorite side dish to have around the holidays. It's delicious cut sweet potatoes that are covered in a delicious sweet and sticky sauce. Now, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First, let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Now I've got here about two pounds of sweet potatoes. It's probably about two and a half pounds, about four medium sized sweet potatoes that I've already rinsed. And I'm gonna go ahead and give those a peel as well as slice those into half inch pieces. You'll wanna make sure you have a sharp peeler to get this done. It'll go a lot faster. And now to slice them into half inch thick pieces. You don't need to get out a ruler, just guesstimate, you know, about half an inch. <laughs> now I'm gonna take my sweet potatoes and lay them flat in a 13 by nine baking dish. And now we're gonna sprinkle these with a little bit of kosher salt. Just, you know, you know how they do, you know how Salt Bay does. Just very high so that we can add a little bit of seasoning to these potato, pot sweet potatoes <laughs> before we add our syrupy, buttery goodness. All right, so we're gonna set these potatoes to the side and start working on our syrup. All right, so now we're gonna make our syrup. First, we're gonna go ahead and melt our butter over medium low heat. Make sure it's medium low because we do not wanna burn this butter because burnt butter is not good. And I've got about half a cup of butter, which is one stick of butter. I'm just gonna add that to my saucepan. Wow. Have you ever smelt slow melting butter? It smells so good. All right, so now I'm gonna add my sugar and my spices to this mixture. As you can see, my butter has melted. So I'm gonna add about three fourths of a cup of brown sugar. Boom half a cup of white sugar. One teaspoon of cinnamon. And about half of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And then we're just gonna give this a stir until that sugar becomes devolved, <laughs> dissolved into that butter mixture. This is a beautiful paste. We're just gonna keep it over this medium low heat so that sugar dissolves. All right, so our sugar has dissolved, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my heat, and I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of OJ. I'm gonna remove it from the heat a little bit, and I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of orange juice. Citrus is just delicious, so adding it to these candy sweet potatoes is good to make it taste delicious as well. And what that's gonna also do is loosen up that sugar mixture just a little bit. And then we're gonna pour this mixture over our sweet potatoes. Make sure you get all that syrupy goodness in there. All right, and what I like to do is I like to just give it a little bit of a stir. You can see some of these potatoes didn't get covered with that syrup. Urgh. It's hard to stir hard chunks of sweet potato, but just do the best you can to try to make sure that it all gets covered with a little bit of syrup. And the longer that this bakes, it's going to release liquid, so it'll be easier to stir halfway through. 
All right, so I've got here some foil paper. I'm going to go ahead and cover the sweet potato. Uh, uh, and we're gonna place this in the middle rack of that preheated oven. Well, well this is gonna take about an hour in total to cook, but the prep for it was short and it's gonna be pretty much hands off. So we're gonna bake this covered in foil paper for 30 minutes initially, and then we're gonna come back and look at it and stir it and then put it back in the oven uncovered. So. All right, so our timer has just went off telling me that it has been 30 minutes. Let's stop this thing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull those from the oven and give them a stir so you could see what it looks like. <laughs> Go ahead and peel the back. This is gonna be really hot, so be careful. And so we're only halfway through cooking. And we're gonna give those a little bit of a stir. As you can see, some of that liquid has been released. But we still wanna make sure all the sweet potato is covered. So it's gonna give it a little bit of a toss. Now I'm gonna place this back in that oven on 350 degrees for another 30 minutes, about 30 minutes, until these sweet potatoes are nice and tender. All right, so it's been about 35 minutes actually that we've had that cooking uncovered on 350. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it. Again, it's gonna be about 30 to 35 minutes. You just wanna test it with a fork and if it is fall apart tender, then they're ready. Oh, look at that it's beautiful sweet potato dish. Ah! All right, so I'm gonna let that cool a little bit because you can see it's bubbling, bubbling hot. And if you've ever eaten like really hot sugar or butter, it burns. And I just want you to see, we know our sweet potatoes are done because boom. That fork goes in through them really easily. All right, so our sweet potatoes have cooled down a bit and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit. And these are huge like pieces. And so if you want them to, you know, cook a little bit quicker, you can always cut them smaller, but I just, oh. and look at that syrup. Just, let me get a little bit more of that, just so you can see how beautiful All right, and now time to take a bite. I'm just gonna take this piece at the top. Mm, mm, mm. Perfect. All right guys, until the next time.